Uh, the lesson for today is all about uh, cubes or cube of a number, especially a multi-digit number. Now, before knowing the value of a cube of a number with two digits, we have to we have to know the cube of a single digit because these are the basic uh, cube of the digit, a single digit, uh, 1 to 10. Now, as we recall, 1 cube or a cube of 1 is equal to 1. Now remember, if you cube the number or a digit, it is just like multiplying the number itself 3 times. 1 times 1 times 1 will give you 1. For 2, 2 cube means 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Likewise here with 3 cubed, that is 27, and we have also 4 cubed uh, equal to 64, uh, 5 cubed 125, 6 cubed uh, 216, 7 cubed 343, 8 cubed 512, and 9 cubed is 729. Just like the squaring of numbers, we have also to, we have to know the square of a single digit in order to, to find the square of the multi-digit uh, number. In this case, this is cubic. So we have to cube a uh, two-digit number here uh, using this uh, cube of uh, single digit here. So I hope you have this uh, familiarized uh, numbers here of the cube or digit cube will be digit, so that we can introduce it to the cube of a number, which is a bigger number actually. It is very hard to have a cube of a number without uh, applying the techniques of how to shorten it in a quick way that we can answer it in just one line or just thinking then you can get the answer. Just take an example of 12. If you take a cube of 12, the steps of how to cube the two-digit number, we have to follow actually four steps. First step, remember that we consider this uh, digit as first digit and this one as the second digit of the two-digit number. And this one we we'll consider as our power, the cube of 12. So this is our first, the second digit, the, 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 the power. The first thing to do, first step, is to cube the second term or second digit. Uh, cubing 2, as we have learned, 2 cube is 8. And then the next step is to write these three numbers here. 1, the first digit, second digit 2, and the power 3. If we are going to write that 1, 1, 2, and 3, but we have to square the second term. Uh, 2, then multiply. Then 1 times 2 squared, which is 4 here, will give you 4 times 3 will give you 12. And then the third step is again you have to write these numbers 1, 2, and 3. 3, remember this is our power. And then this time, the third step, we have to square the first term. Then multiply it with the second term and the power. 1 squared means 1, then times 2 is 2, times 3 will give you uh, 6. The single digit number 6. And we have also the fourth step, supposed to be the last step of our cubing uh, two digit number. This time we have to cube the first term, then will give you uh, 1. As you have noticed, it seems that this is our rightmost part of our of our answer, and this is supposed to be our leftmost part of our answer. And remember, what we need are these single digits here. With one here, for example, of this uh, step two, one here will be carried over. So, in other words, if we are going to apply this as our answer here, the answer will become the last digit will be this one. A with no carryover, and then the next digit of our answer here is 2, 
But remember, we have mechanic over one. Then the third, in the third step, we have six. But six to be added by carried over one will become seven. And then we do carry over, carry over here, there. So therefore, we have here one automatically for our uh, last step. This is one. Therefore, this will serve as our answer for 12 cube, 1,728, following this step. Now, this time, just remember the step. And then you can answer it in one line without writing this. Do it by your mind. Then you have her, for example, in number 32. And this is Q of 20, 32. If we follow the step, the last digit can be found by cubing 2. And we know that cube of the last term 2 is 8. The second step here is to consider these three digits here, including the power. But remember, this two, the second, the second uh, digit, is to be squared. Then multiply. Three times the square of two, which is four, will give you 12. 12 times three will give you 36. So that 36, I will put six here, then the three will be carried over. For the third step, we have to use again these three digits here, but this time we have to square the first term. The square of three is nine times two is equal to 18, and 18 times three is equal to uh, 54. And 54 plus three, the carry over three here, is equal to 57, uh, okay? Then the carry over is five, and the last uh, step is to cube the first term. Cubing the first term three, as we have learned, three cube is 27, plus the carry over of five will give you 32. In other words, the answer is 32,768 for 32 cube. Furthermore, in order to learn, and then this time make it faster, without writing, just do it directly there. We have, for example, 61 cube, a bigger number. Again, first step, cube, the second term. And that is one cube means one. Second step, consider this three, but you have to square the second term. The square of one is one, times six will give you six, and times three will give you 18. So I will put eight here, and the one is carried over for the next step. The next step is, the third step is, consider also again, this one, consider again these three digits, or these three numbers. Then you square the first term, which is 36, times 1 is still 36, and then 36 times 3 will give you 108. 36 times 3 is 108. And 108 plus 1 will give you 109, but what I need is only one digit, the 9. And since it is 109, three digits, I will carry. 10 there. Carry the 10 is carried over. Then for the fourth step, you have to cube 6. And we know that 6 cube is 216. 216 plus 10 will give you 226. And that completes our 61 cube, which is supposed to be 226,900. 81. Now, 
we did it we did it in a in a one one line only. If you say one line, then knowing also the cube of each digit. So the cube of each digit uh, has an important role for this uh, cubing of two digit number or a bigger number. Now the last uh, number that I would like to show to you, and this is something uh, special type of uh, cubing numbers like this. For example, if I will say 90, 90 cube, remember, 90 cube is a two digit number, but we have zero here. Now, this is very easy because zero here will just simply uh, appear here as to what is the power. The power is three. It means zero here will have or will appear three times also in our answer. And that will be on the last, the second, and the third to the last. So we have our zero, a zero, zero. It seems this is our first step, second step, and the third step. And the last one is cubing this, and we know that the cube of the first term, nine, is the cube of nine is 729. Meaning, very easy for this type of number, although this is a special type, this is zero as the second digit, when it is cube, it means just put three zeros. And then cube the first term automatically is 729, and that will become 729,000 as our answer for 90 cube. And it is again very easy. You can do it in one uh, line only using your mind with the logic of the numbers. Then I suggest again for, uh, for you to master this.